before I talk about economy of scale, population of Earth at the moment of recording this video is 7,530,780,860. Now, economy of scale. I made a video previously try trying to define economy of scale. Now I'm just going to talk about an example. As I think examples are the best way to learn a topic like this. I am pretty sure you guys are familiar with websites like Amazon, eBay and AliExpress. If you buy stuff from these websites, they deliver the products to where you live. And this includes shipping cost or delivery cost wow for this example let's just say that you're going to buy some books online let's just say that the price of a single book would be ten dollar and for the simplicity of calculation let's just say that all the books are ten dollars so if you buy two books that would be twenty dollars and the delivery cost be seven dollars in this case the twenty dollar and the seven dollar would make twenty seven dollars so the delivery cost of the books bought by you would be 35 percent of the total cost that you have spent on the books that is a substantial amount now let's just say that you have decided to buy seven books that would be 70 dollar and the delivery cost is still seven dollars so the total would be 77 dollars in this case the delivery cost is only 10 percent of the total amount spent on the books in the last video i have talked about variable costs and fixed costs in this book and delivery cost scenario the price of the book would be variable cost and the delivery charge would be fixed cost if you buy one book that would be ten dollar for two books it would be twenty dollars and for seven books it's seventy dollars on the other hand the delivery charge is fixed if you buy two books it's seven dollars if you buy seven books it's still seven dollars if you decide to buy all the furnitures you need for your home at once the delivery cost would be comparatively low than when you decide to buy only one chair i know delivery charges are different for different type of products but i just tried to explain economy of scale in a simplified manner and that is why instead of producing one unit large corporations produce a ton of units of good to get benefited from economies of scale and that is the big advantage of large corporations compared to small businesses i hope you are able to understand the topic if you have any questions you can ask them below and as an extra i would like to say the full form of ip is internet protocol and the full form of isp is internet service provider and that would be the end of this video thanks for watching i hope you learned something new today and if you like the type of videos i am making don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel